family. It's your girl, Latoya Sharika. I am doing the school run. Getting ready to take this one to school that's behind me. Say hello. Happy, say good morning. All right, this one right here got a birthday coming up. It'll be here, it'll be six tomorrow. Uh, if you make it that long. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just getting ready to take, take I'm taking this from the school. And uh, I'm probably going back home. I'll go back home, do me some devotionals. And then take my other boy to school. Hmm? Is that? 13. Yeah. You was not 13, boy. You for to be six. You for to be six years old. But anyways, I slept good last night. I was able to talk to some friends. Um, I'm constantly reviewing applications. <laughs> like Gerald the words say. I'm looking for a new love. I'm looking for some everlasting love. And it's going on. Oh, I just missed that whole song. Up, didn't I? No. <laughs> but anyways, I will take y'all throughout the day. Y'all just stick with me. I'm going to try to have these videos a little bit shorter. And, um, and, and that's that. So, I'll see y'all. I will see y'all. I will see y'all. Because I'm almost at the pickup line. And you know your girl like to run her damn mouth with any damn body that would talk to him. Oh, little girl. Now she look ugly. She got an ugly face. She just frowned up. Ooh. It ain't that bad this morning, little girl. It ain't no reason to be frowned up. It ain't no reason. You can have a pretty face if you would stop frowning up. They call that a, a, a resting bitch face. See how I ain't, get, I ain't even got the damn phone and the camera, and I'm just stuttering my damn mouth. Yeah, I know. I'm almost there. Hello, St. Mary's. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? Now, see y'all, okay, this is where I feel it right here, y'all. Because I always got my damn mouth open. Hey! What's going on? Same thing. <laughs> the exact same thing I did yesterday. <laughs> like I didn't get off. Oh, you did? I don't remember what I did. Oh, God. Hey, ah. <laughs> Tell her your birthday tomorrow. He said he's going to be 66. 66? 66. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, what that make me do? Bless God. <laughs> Have a good day, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. 66. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get on this camera, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. How you doing? I told y'all I was coming back. And I got on a new wig too, girl. And this girl is glowing like a motherfucker. You understand me? Serious. But I'm on my way. I just came back from the the smoothie, tropical smoothie cafe, girl. Baby, this drink right here is off the hook. And this got real fruit in it too. I told her I wanted peach and um peach and mango smoothie. Baby, that woman, she put her toes all in that smoothie. She did that, and they make so bad. She not even from him. She here for the weekend and to try to sell her stuff. And so far, she got me hooked. I'm glad to give her these little six dollars. Shoot, I don't mind having the black. I don't know. I mean, I have my own black businesses. I don't. I don't. And I gave her a car. For my YouTube channel. She subscribed right then and now. I said, thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Supporting on me. But anyways. I don't want to spend my whole 
whole duration of this video talking about somebody that really don't need to be really talked about. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to bring attention to this again. And I'm going to talk to two particular people. Two particular people. I'm talking to the Big Energy and Big, Bo and Big Belly Bob, his girlfriend. First, I want to take my attention to the girlfriend. Honey, I know you realize that you can get in somebody ear. You can get in being ear and and I and direct him the way you want to direct him. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You got that. But I'm gonna tell you something later. I'm not pining over him. I'm not whining over him. I ain't doing shit over him. There's a reason he don't have my number. That's the reason why he can't call me. I don't want to talk to him no more. I ain't got nothing to say to him no more. The kids are big enough to talk to them, talk to their daddy themselves. They don't need me. The only time they need me is when I got to put, when I, if I got to get some straightening. Then that's where I come in at. <clears throat> but let me tell you something, lady. Let me tell you something right now. You be working in all these goddamn chicken plants all these different years. And you've been ran through the chicken plant all these years. And then you finally come and you get your dumb ass nigga. They don't know a damn thing and ain't used to a fucking thing. Let me tell you something, lady. You are a fucking instigator and you a hater. You sit over there, you be watching my YouTube channels and shit, scanning and going over the parts that you wanna, you feel like that, that, that I'm hurting you the most on. But baby, I ain't hurting you. I'm not hurting you. I'm gonna stay in facts. I'm gonna stay in facts. Let me tell you something right now, lady. My children are young. My children are 13 and 6. They used to their daddy being in their life. They used to their daddy being in their life. And then, for you to come into his life and don't encourage that, something is wrong with you, lady. Something is wrong with you. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you about me. When I got with Ben, he was hiding. He was hiding. He was hiding from various... Uh, different um outlets he was hiding but the time the, when I first got with him and I found out he had kids and at the time they was almost grown I encouraged him to reach out to his kids I encouraged him to have a relationship with his kids I encouraged him and that's the type of woman I am why you over there encouraging him to let him believe that I'm not a woman but that's the type of woman I, I was to him I helped Ben get on his feet. I helped Ben get to where he is now. I, I, I did that, lady. So, with that being said, chitlin pussy, <clears throat> if the shoe was on the other foot and I took your, and, and Ben was your husband, and your husband and I took him, knowing he had small children, I would do the same fucking thing. But you mad. You big man, lady. You big man. You know why you mad? Because I got the title. I got the title. I got the ring. And he can't pay for a divorce. So what you gonna do? Step in and pay for it for him. That's all good and dandy. Hell, that's less work I got to do. So, yeah, you pay for it for him. Pay for it. I want you to pay for the divorce. I want you and him to ride off in the motherfucking sunset. I really, really want y'all to do that. I want y'all to be fucking happy. I do. Because you know why? I'm getting to my happy. 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 And it don't involve you or Ben. I can go about my day without even thinking about y'all two motherfuckers. But unlike y'all... Y'all be over there in y'all house in your home arguing about little old me and what I'm doing on YouTube. And you should, and you should, because you're a low-class lady. 
You low class and you trash. <laughs> I am never. I ain't never had an issue with you. My problem with you is, is you disrespectful. <clears throat> you highly, highly, highly disrespectful towards me. When me and Ben started going together, I wasn't disrespectful to his baby mama. And they knew me, and I knew them. But we ain't ever exchanged any words. We ain't never had no hate for one another. There was none of that. And we, when we came around each other, we were cordial. We were cordial. No issues, if, ands, buts. None. But with you, you feel like you got the title, you got the ring, and you got all, all, the, all the privilege. You don't have shit. You got a married man. That's what you have. You have a married man. He 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 done been through all the chicken plants. You done been through all the chicken plants. And this is what y'all get. Y'all get and y'all get together. He was going with a friend of yours at the same chicken plant. You was going with him at. Huh? Huh? Now say I'm lying, lady. Because if I'm lying, you lying. Because I got it from you. But what you need to be worried about, um, girlfriend, you need to be worried about if Ben gonna be doing the same thing to you right now. Cause he ain't done, he ain't never stopped talking to D. He ain't never stopped talking to Michelle. He's still talking to them ladies. You think you got them all to yourself? You keep thinking that. And whatever the information he telling you, you better do you, you better do like um Carfax and check your facts, honey. You better double back and check on the shit he telling you. Cause Ben is a big old liar. And he lied to lie to lie just to lie. Now, stop being in my business when it comes to me and my children. Stop your man, your soon-to-be husband, from calling my son's phone, calling me to cuss me out. I don't give a damn what y'all arguing about over there in that house, in y'all house. I don't give a damn. This is America, bitch, and I have the freedom of speech. So I can say anything and do anything I want. And if it's it bothering y'all that bad, make y'all a channel. Stop being in my business when it comes to my children. You already got the motherfucker where he don't want to pay the rent. So what more else to discuss? All you're doing is paying for dick. That's all you're doing, you bald-headed monkey. That's all you're doing is paying for dick. You a paymaster. You're buying them Nikes. You're buying them outfits and clothes. And every time y'all go step up, on, go on the road or anywhere, you're coming out your wallet and your purse. Because he ain't never got no money. He ain't never got no money. And I, ever since he's been with you, he ain't worked the 40 hours yet. But he called me stupid. He said, I'm stupid because I put all my business on um, YouTube. You damn right. Every time I have a fucking interaction with this, this dumb ass man, I'm going to put it out there on, on front screen. Because Ben is abusive. He's abusive to me. He's abusive to me in front of our children. He don't care what come out of his mouth in front of them kids. He don't. He don't. And he think because he buying them video games and bullshit like that, that don't mean a motherfucking thing. Buy them something that they can use. Like clothes and shoes. Buy them some clothes and shoes. You call me stupid. You say I'm this and I'm that. But you the one bothered. You the one bothered. You the one calling my phone every other day about some YouTube shit. You subscribe right along with her. Y'all watching together. Then you turn around and get the argument. And then you trying to lie to get it right. So you call me cussing me out. So to, to pacify her. I'm going to put it out there. I show all them. I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. Hey, yeah, you be calling me with that motherfucking drama. Yeah, you do. But I tell you what, this is the last call. Don't call Draymond. Don't call Andre phone asking for me. You better call there and be asking for your, to speak to your goddamn children. That's what you need to be doing. And if you step foot in my yard, in my yard, in my premises, on my street, I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. Because you is this close to hitting me. I feel it. I feel it in my bone. You this close to hitting me. And I'm not going to let you hit me. I'm not going to let you hit me. I'm not going to let you beat me. I'm not. I'm not. 
I'm not. So you being empty, you need to channel that damn energy that you harboring for me and put it on and, t and leave it over there with her. You talking about? You told me last night on the phone, yelling through the phone, talking about there's nothing that binds us but a piece of paper. Tear the motherfucker up, bitch. Tear it up. Tear the motherfucker up. I'm not pining and waiting on you, motherfucker. I'm not pining and waiting on you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pining and waiting on you, baby. I am not, baby. I'm making moves of my own. But I tell you this right here. Stay the fuck away from my damn house. That's what you gonna do. You keep your evil ass, your abusive ass, away from my house. With that bullshit. Stay away from my house. You don't want to have nothing to do with me? Don't call your son's phone asking for me to cuss me out. Don't do that. Who does that? Huh? I know you with that motherfucking woman. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You look at me in this screen. I don't give a fuck who you at. It don't make me none anyways. It don't. I sleep better at night. I sleep so much better at night knowing ain't nobody fucking cheating on me. Hmm? I sleep better at night knowing I ain't got to be worried about who you fucking with now, who you fucking with over here, who you fucking with over there. I sleep so much better at night. Hmm? Huh? You heard me? I sleep so much better at night, man. I'm doing better in my own life. But you want to portray me as a, uh, as a, you want to portray me as a no good mama. A sorry ass wife. A fat ass. All that. But that whole you said, but that whole you left me for, she ain't skinny as hell. If anything, she fat, she got, she ain't got no ass. All her stuff, all her ass is her stomach. Her big belly ass. But she got nerves be creating Facebook pages for you and, and shooting and sending bow and arrows at me. You don't want these problems, bitch. You don't want these problems. You don't want them. You don't want them. You don't want them. Yeah, that little shit you be talking about, your weight over there where you live at, between whatever and whatever, that little weight you you think you carry, fuck that. Because at the end of the day, the law going to be on the law side. It's the law side. It ain't going to be on your side, bitch. It's not going to be on your side. It's going to be on the law side. Whoever's right, you and this motherfucking man you going with, you always have one with, you don't know him. You don't know shit about being everything. You don't. That's why he going to take you for a motherfucking ride. Trust me, I know because I was on that ride. I was on that ride. So he eating your pussy and you blowing in his ass and y'all both of y'all gassing each other up. But it ain't going to get you nowhere, bitch. It ain't going to get you nowhere. It ain't going to get you nowhere at all. But you go ahead and help him pay for that divorce. You do that. And then when you get through with that, you going to help him pay for that child support too, bitch. Yeah, you going to come out your pockets, hoe. You sure is. Now, y'all have a good night arguing about that motherfucking shit right there. Don't call my phone, Ben, with that bullshit. And I mean that. You was an abusive man. You so abusive and you so nasty to me. And all I ever did was ever help. All I ever did was help your ass. Help your ass. All I ever did was help your ass. And all you ever did was use, abuse, and mistreat me and manip manipulate me. That's what you did for 16 years. That's what you did. All I ever did was help your ass. All I ever did was help your ass. You the motherfucker you is now because of me. Because of me. Because of me. You the motherfucker you is now because of me. But the motherfucker you is now is not recognizable. I don't know who the fuck you is. You so motherfucking disrespectful to me. What man? What motherfucker you know calling they baby mama bitches and hoes and stupid and dumb? Fat motherfuckers and shit like that. What motherfucker you know doing that to their um children's mother? Your children's mother. Huh? You got that much animosity and hate towards me that you're going to go do all that shit right now? Just because you don't got with this old stinking ass, bad body, big belly, refrigerator built hoe? That's the risk you ran for messing with old chicken plant, chicken plant hotel hoe. 
That hoe been ran up all through the chicken place. She been ran through just as much as the chickens in the line been ran through. <laughs> I'm done with that. Cut, cut, cut. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. To end this video for the day so I can get it out for y'all. I'm back. And I'm going to cool down since I last talked to y'all. But I get sensitive and I get real heated when it comes to my churn. Just like anybody should about their kids, you know. But anyways, I don't want to talk about them no more. I don't say what I have to say, and hopefully I ain't got to repeat myself no more. Uh, this water, it was filled up with ice, and it melted down. This is all I got now. Me and the kids, and um, me and the kids, cause just came back from the scoop, the dollar scoop, but I ain't want none of that. And I really wanted me a chili dog, but. They didn't have none at the place I went to, and I ain't feel like going away all over another side of the town to get one. So I got me a little funky cheeseburger from Hardy's. Uh, they was on sale two for five, and they look like they got one person cooking, one person at the damn drive-thru. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Today has been a great day for me. I pose for pictures. I love to pose now. For all of a sudden, I, I'm a selfie girl. I did that. I danced a little bit, you know, just showed my little natural ass. Yeah, and I talked to um my friend that keeps a smile on my face for some, you know, for now. You know, I'm still reviewing that application, you know, but it looks like he might come out on top. Who knows? I'm just ready to embrace my world, embrace my life. You know, I've been caged up. But I'm for the let the they for let the, the tiger for to be let out today, baby. It's for to be let out. I know what I want. I know what I'm not for to settle for, and it it is what it is, you know. I yes, I'm not for everybody. Yes, I can be a handful, but you know what? I'm not deviating from anything. I've learned. I've learned. I've learned, and I'm learning my lessons. I am. I am, and I'm not gonna take people so seriously i'm not gonna take myself seriously because i love to have fun i want to go out on dates i want somebody to hold my hand when we go out to somewhere to the movies and skating ring and go to the bowling alley or or red robin you know i want somebody to be looking at me with the googly eyes you know oh i just want that i want that i wasn't open to love a while back but i'm open to it now baby I am so open to it. I want to just have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to be serious with nobody. Just to have, you know, just to be kicking it with somebody. You know, we can just be friends. Or whatever, cutter buddies. Or spoon buddies. Or some kind of buddy. <laughs> but I just want to do it away from my house. Away from my children. I don't want them to be exposed to all these. What, what all I'm doing behind the scenes or nothing like that. Because it's not their business. You know, I know what that feels like. Because I had to look at that shit when I was growing up. You know, me and not the man coming in at my mama's house. My mama and grandma's house. You don't know who they coming for. Hell, you don't really know who they were coming for. The mom, grandma, auntie. You don't know. But I'm not going to do my children like that. I'm not. I got a lot more respect for myself. And I really keep that mess away from them and away from my peace, which is my home. I value my peace. I value my home. And I value my children's privacy. You know? And their safety. Yeah, I do. They don't have to meet every crown. Excuse me. They don't have to meet every color and crown I'm, I decide to draw with. They don't. They don't. Until I decide I want to be serious. Mm-hmm. But yeah, girl. This wig right here, she gave what she supposed to have gave today. I had fun with it. I thought I was the sexiest thing in, in, on the, in the world today. I really did. You know, I laughed giggle my baby birthday is tomorrow it's, it's friday he's gonna be six and i can't wait to see the expression on his face when i bring them cupcakes to that school yeah baby yes i am feeling damn good i am feeling damn good damn good damn good i feel good you know i feel really good really good i mean my knees and stuff still hurt me from time to time but I ain't complaining about it, and I just do what I got to do to make myself feel better in that area. 
You know, I love dancing. Y'all know that. Y'all see that already. Erica cut a rug with that little one, two steps. She be hitting. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am excited. I talked to my friends today, my homegirls. I just can't wait till we get together and do this girl thing. Because I'm ready to get loose than the goose. Loose than the goose. Hey, 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 loose than the goose. I'm ready to get on down. Get on down, on the flow. Get on down, in on the flow. I'm ready to do it, honey. I'm ready to just get buck wild. I'm ready to get buck wild and have a good ass time. This is gonna be my hot girl summer. You better believe it. You better fucking believe it. This is gonna be my hot girl summer. And I don't give a damn what nobody got to say at this point right now. Cause if you ain't paying no bills over here. You ain't contributing over here. You ain't got nothing to say about what's going on over here. Period. And that's on somebody's pissy grandmama with their pissy ass pamper. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. It's warm outside. The wind is blowing. It just, it just, oh, feels great. And then I seen two, uh, two cats today. I ain't recognize these cats right here. One is a white and a little touch of brown. And then I seen another one, a black one. And they just was running around this lady yard across the street from me and doing the most. I hope they don't bring their asses over here. And I wish I had a BB gun <laughs> or something. My nosy neighbor, he ain't bothered me today. I'm trying to get my attention with his old pathetic ass. I mean, I can't ask for much more. My children, they happy. They, they in the house eating. Getting food, they eat their favorite food, you know. I'm I'm good. I'm really good. I'm really good. Yeah. I'm really good. I'm really good. I'm good. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. Cause y'all say y'all want short videos, so I'm gonna do my best not talk about so much stuff at one time. Have some room for tomorrow. So I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for subscribing. I thank y'all for just giving me a chance to be in y'all homes. I thank y'all. I really do thank y'all. And continue to support your girl. Because I don't know where this girl is going to take me. I don't. I don't know where it's going to take me. But I'm excited about what lies ahead. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm finally taking time out for me. I'm finally doing what makes me happy i'm finally taking care of me i'm doing it i'm doing it i am doing it i'm doing it and ain't nobody gonna try to come in here and break me down no it's not because it's time for me to set some boundaries and i've done that i've said it already to the person that they don't they're not not they're, they're no there are no longer warm uh, welcome to this place you want to see your kids you call, you make an appointment, and meet them somewhere else. Don't come here disturbing my peace. And I'm not going to go too deep in that again, because it makes me upset when I do talk about them bitches. So I'm going to get off the phone, get off the video machine, you know, go in the house and enjoy my family, and y'all do the same. Continue to watch me. Continue to go on this journey. Peace out, and I love y'all. I love all of y'all, even the trolls. Thank you.